Hello viewers, you are welcome to today's lesson. We'll be looking at 2025 Basic Education Certificate Examination Mathematics Essay. That's paper 3. In my previous um, lesson, I've solved all the questions in paper 1. You can look it up. That's 60 questions. Once you are done with this mathematics essay, we'll look at paper 2 and solve the 60 questions. And that will be it. Let's take a look at the first question here. Question number one says, 1A. The question says, given that x varies inversely as y and x equal to one over five, when y equal to 35, express x in terms of y. All right, to solve this question, let's interpret what has been said x varies inversely as y so x is equal to k over y that is what it means the k here stands for the constant which we don't know but in the question we are told that x is equal to what one out of five and y equal to 35. so to express s in terms of y we need to solve for k and find the value of k We'll substitute these values into the equation. X is 1 over 5. So 1 over 5 is equal to k over y, which is 35. To get the value of k, we'll cross multiply. k times 5 is k5 equal to 35 times 1 is 35. To get the value of k, you divide both sides by 5. 5 year 1, 5 year 1. k is equal to 35 divided by 5 is 7. The value of k is 7. Now that we have the value of k, uh, let's express s in terms of y. Since x is equal to k over y, x is equal to replace k with 7, 7 out of y. And this is my answer. That's for 1a i. So 1a i i, the question says, find y when x is 14. If x is equal to 7 out of y. When x is 14, you have 7 out of y, less of for y. Cross multiply. 14 times y will give us 14y equal to 7 times 1, 7. To get the value of y, you divide both sides by 4. 4 year 1, 4 year 1. The value of y is 7 out of 14. Divide both sides by 7 again. That will give you one, half, 1 over 2, or 0 0.5. That's the value of y. So we've sorted question 1ai and 1aii. So let's solve question 1b. A food canteen uses an average of 30,000 liters of water per week. Each week, 30,000 liters of water is used. Find the average number of liters per hour. We know that seven days make one week. Let's find out how many hours is in seven days. 24 hours make one day. So for seven days, you multiply by 24. Seven times 24 will give you the number of hours in seven days. And seven days is equal to one week. 24 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 8. Keep 2 years. 7 times 2, 14 plus 2. We have 162 hours in 7 days or 1 week. To get the number of what are used in a week, we divide the total, uh, the, the quantity of liters used in a week by 168, number of hours in a week. To give you, uh, I think, uh, if you punch it in your calculator, you get 178.571 liters. The instruction says your answer should be in three significant figures. So, one, two, three. 178 give me three sig significant figures. However, the closest digit this five is up to five. You run it up to one add it to your answer your final answer here will be 179 liters that's for question 1b 
We are done with everything in question one. Let's go straight to question two. Question number two. Let's start with 2a. The question says, table 3.1 shows the scores of students in a test. We have the scores and the frequency. So how many students took part in the test? Frequency represent the number of students that took part in the test. So just add them up. That's 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2. 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 3, 10 plus 6, 16, 18, and 20. 20 students took part. Question 2b. Calculate the mean score. Mean is sum total divided by number of items. Number of items. You already know that the number of items here is 20 because 20 people took part. Sum total. Uh, three people scored got 10 scores each the total sum for this 3 is 3 times 10 30 plus 4 times 12 4 people got 12 scores each that's 48 plus 3 times 14 42 plus 15 times 6 6 people got 15 scores each that's 90. 17 times 2. 2 people got 17 scores. That's 34. 2 people got 20 scores. 2 times 20. That's 40. Okay. So let's get the sum total by adding up everything. That will give us 284 divided by 20 which is 14.2 that's the mean question 2c let me solve it up here the question says what percentage of the students scored 15 marks and above those that scored 15 marks and above let's look at 15 marks and above we have this 15 17 and 20 how many of them six scored 15 two scored 17 and two scored 20 so I added the 6, this 2, and this 2. That will give me 10. 10 out of how many are there? We said there are 20 in number, number of frequencies. So 10 out of 20, as a percent means multiply by 100%. 0 cancel 0. 2 year 1, 2 into 10 is 5. 10 times 5 is 50%. That's the answer. Question D. Find the probability that a student choosing at random scored 12 marks. How many people got scored 12 marks? 4 out of total number of 20 students. To get the probability, just divide both sides by 4. That's 1 over 5. And 1 over 5 is same as 0 0.2. So we have the answers for question 2a as 20, 2b as 14.2, 2c as 50%. And 2D as 0.2 or 1 out of 5. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this class. Kindly share. Let other others enjoy the lesson as well. See you in the next class. Bye.